What's up guys? What's going on? What is up? What is going on? We are now, this day has come to basically hit up our storage shed to be able to go through it and to get it out to the and move it to the next storage spot so we can shrink it everything and get it to the storage but I'm telling you when you when I show you this storage unit or this shed that we have with the stuff that we have accumulated over seven plus years and downsizing to RV living full-time I'm telling you it is a big step and when you see this you're gonna be like holy smokes yes yeah, so we dedicated this right here for a whole day of venture because it's gonna take at least a whole day to go through this stuff and to pick what we're saving what we're putting or what we're saving and what we're gonna sell and what we're gonna throw away so I want to bring you guys along with us with this journey because every single thing we do I want to bring it to you guys because you guys are part of our family right here at Wyckoff's Adventures right here on YouTube and don't forget to go check out WyckoffsAmerica.com that is our website um, that is our old channel um, I can say old channel because this is our new channel right here um, and we are separating what we were doing until now because it's a totally different life change a totally different way that we are going to be doing things so I want to bring you guys along with this adventure for 2023 RV living and much more and this is all the steps you know to let me wait one second until this coast farm uh, finally flies over us Fly. come on you're so darn loud I would be using my mic but when I did my last video that I just uploaded, the mic went out. So I'm not gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna be talking louder for you guys to hear me. Um, but like I said, this is a new venture, 2023. And you know, I'm trying to pick, or not really pick, but I'm going through other RV lives and, or really not lives, but other videos and their journeys and you know stuff like that and there is no journey no one else's journey that is like ours 100 percent hands down um you know we don't have a house to sell we don't have a car to sell we don't have anything to sell like that is big enough for us to be like all right sold the house got a hundred thousand dollars let's go no our journey is basically going from a rented house okay for seven years and being like basically pushed out because of the fact that we don't want to pay two thousand dollars a month or or even pay rent anymore we want to be able to be self-sufficient and live you know without paying rent and without throwing money just away you know we want to live that we can save money and and whatever we buy or whatever we put our money to that it's investing in something so we picked 2023 to do that and I believe it's a good way to start all this whole journey because I have searched and searched and no one on YouTube has a journey like Wyckoff's Adventures right here so I feel 100% that we are unique and different and, and and something to be able to give someone give give back to someone that most likely has the same same uh, thing you know renting for years and and always throwing your money away to rent and you didn't have nothing at the end so now we decided to well we're not paying rent two thousand dollars a month or even so we're paying fourteen hundred bucks a month even though if they raised it, we're done. I told them we're not paying no more than $1,400 a month. End of, cons end, end of story. So 
we have nothing to sell except our stuff that you know with the haunted house stuff our our, our, our things in the house that we cannot take with us on this new journey because we are downsizing so everything that we have we have to sell to be able to make that money to go you know full-time RVing you know so there's no one out there that has or is in our shoes and I know there's people out there that are in our shoes that don't have the the means to sell a house or sell a car or sell something major to give them enough cushion so they can live for a year so our cushion is up there faith because everything that we have done we've always paid on rent and the money just was gone so now we decided to say you know what basically we're starting over i mean i'm almost 40 my wife's almost four, uh, thir shit, I almost said she's almost 40. Well, actually, she's not. She's only 37, 36. So, you know, we're getting up to that age that we have to make that decision. And I think this decision is the right time and to bring you guys along with us so you guys can learn some things or, or learn what not to do of our mistakes and stuff like that. Because I'm telling you, Man, I just wish that there was others out there that was like in our shoes that I can say, you know what, let me watch that and be like, okay, all right, okay, all right. You know, but no, this is a first and we're going to dive right in and we want to bring you guys along with us. So I really hope that you guys can hit that button underneath and hit that subscribe and bring us with you and we can bring you with us so again don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment underneath we're still looking for a name for the trailer and also we will be doing lives we will be doing we'll be doing premieres videos like this one recordings like this one and we will also be doing lives i am coming up with uh lives coming up in the future that we will be giving out gift cards every live or not every live but one live a week we will be doing gift card um give outs so you have to be a subscriber you have to be in the live chat and can't tell you the money but trust me it's going to be a gift card to anywhere that you can use for your family or for yourself or for your loved one or you can give it as a gift but that is our way of giving back for you guys to watch and to, to put us on your screen. So again, much love and enjoy this video. Why Call Adventures video right here. Storage to storage. <laughs> so this is so this is our landlord's mess right here. And then they get mad at us because you know they throw it and it's okay for them we're gonna go ahead and throw that away hurricane destroyed that and then we got all the wood for the Halloween right there that used to be a tunnel where you walk through um, but I use it for storage right here but we got to go through that but here and then tires but here is the disaster disaster 101 so all this stuff over here guys is the Halloween on this side of the 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 shed is all the Halloween stuff that we have we got animatronics back there we will be selling the wood right here and all that it goes all the way back we got a guy back there peeking his head out, animatronics. Oh, it right here, animatronics. All these are animatronics. So those will be up for sale. So definitely all this, Halloween, the wood, fog machines. I got 35 fog machines 
and fake Christmas trees. This used to be in the Halloween. What is that? Uh, this right here. The trees were in Spirit Halloween when they had the bridge. And I'm going to show you the bridge real quick right after I show you everything in here. So those trees came with it at Spirit. I took the whole set shovels cone you know the whole nine yards build a whole haunted house and i can do that wyckoff's haunted house was open for five years another propane tank but yeah got that i'm gonna save that that's for sure nail guns like more wood like crazy but yeah this is what we're going to be tacking today. Hopefully you guys are ready. But let me go ahead and show you the bridge from Spirit Halloween is right here. This is the bridge that we got from Spirit Halloween. And then you walk right over it. Feels like you're walking over a bridge. It's pretty cool, uh, but yeah, this. But the wind and rain destroyed it, so that's going down. Getting out of here, and then all my pool supplies, used pumps, and all that. That all can be out of here. More pallets, you know. And then they bits because this was behind the house. Look at this. Look at this uh, hospital bed right here. If you go on to Wyckoff's Haunted House, this be, uh, hospital bed was in one of the scenes. But uh, yeah, all Halloween. We even had a toxic room. That's why that one's painted. It's all on the other side. Someone has blood on it, if you can look. Right there. But yeah, um, but yeah, they got upset because all this stuff was tucked behind. Nobody can see it. And they got upset, so whatever, deal with it. That's all I gotta say. Deal now, you can deal with it. But yeah, tunnel, the bridge, the whole nine yards. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something that we have to get done today. It's a beautiful day. It does not look like any rain, so that is a good thing. I was worried. That's why we haven't really jumped on it yet because of we thought there was going to be rain in the forecast so cannot do it until it looks like no cloud in sight so we're gonna go ahead and knock this out nick uh when i opened the door nick was out here she oh i opened the door a lizard landed on me and i was like ah! like a little girl and uh she said hold up i gotta go get my boots on and stuff like that I'm out here with my flip-flops. I should change into shoes because any kind of creature is in here. So you know what? I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go put on my shoes and we will be right back. I Hopefully hopefully you guys will enjoy this. It's going to be fun. Um, another adventure. I promise you guys, when you guys subscribe, we will be going live premieres. We also got plenty of more videos never seen before on our website as well um, all members get uh, videos cup like hours before the public get it so check those out if you guys would like to become a member that allows us to keep on the road and it will allow us to maybe come to a city near you because that is our game plan is to hit 50 states eventually but we cannot do that right now because we have to work full time to pay our bills because that's just how we have to do that. Um, be able to save and get going. We're trying to find work that is online so we can be remote and be gone, you know, and go and do things. So again, thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for hitting that like button. And please don't forget to comment even if it's some dumb comment it's okay i promise you i will answer it i will i mean i've noticed that you know when i comment on others 
they only give me a heart. And I'm like, dude, like say something. But you know, they could be busy and that's understandable because sometimes I get busy, but I make sure that I answer every single comment. So please, if you can, comment at the bottom. Bam, let's go. Unless there's hundreds of thousands of comments, then I might just give you a heart. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. When, when we get that, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Let's have fun. Oh, that's what I was saying. We're only, when I say adventures on this right here, this is our adventure that we are handling right now. So what I'm trying to get at is that we're going to have other adventures, more cool adventures, things that are off the chain. I promise you that. Um, but this is the story before we jump in the RV and the travel trailer and, and go full time because you have to know that journey because I want to give it to you so you know what's happening, what's going on, what we had to, what we have had to do or what we, ha yeah, what we had to do and, and to get in full time and to get everything out and popping. So here we go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Much love. Let's go to the show. Ha! Yeah. Had to back up the trailer so we can load her up. You know what I mean? All right, guys. I had to go ahead and hook up the mic due to the fact that you can't hear me in here. So we're going to slowly but surely got some of these things. Most probably... Um, I would say sell, but it's going to be a long adventure, I'll tell you. Put this, that's garden tools off to the side. I need a ladder, but uh, this ladder's too small. So we'll put that over to the cell area, and then just slowly... You know, here's that other table. So, we got a lot of pipe over here, a lot of pipe, you know. Put that off to the side because we'll most probably use that eventually, but maybe not. But let me go ahead and clean some of this stuff out of here so I can put the camera in and be able to show you guys what we're cleaning out. You know what I mean? All right, guys, we just found this right here. This is a electric um, griddle, 1,000 watt right here. Instead of using our gas propane, we can plug this into our battery or plug it into the generator. We can plug it into something that is electric. So we are going to save this and put it, we actually have two of these. And that's what I mean by what we find that we buy that we only used it one time. And now that we're going through stuff, we find things. And we're like, you know what? We could use this. And there's Nick, guys, Nick. She has made it with her infective gloves because she doesn't want to get bit by a spider or anything like that so she got those gloves on i was like nick what are you doing but hey you know she's scared of spiders i'm scared of spiders but yes i wanted to let you guys know this right here is a life saver and a money saver so i'm glad to see that we have these but yeah so this is what i'm doing uh, i'm gonna sell those sell that Okay, this is what I think you can put. Oh, yep, 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 nail gun. Yep, correct. Um, yeah, so put that to the side then. But no, put it in storage. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, so put that over. Right. So I'm getting everything out of here while Nick hits it in there. Um, this is the 17 by... 20 uh garage that we we bought three of those and one is destroyed over there because of the hurricane and then we have two that's over here 
that we're trying to sell. They're about $200 at freight, but we're gonna go ahead and knock 50 off because they're used. We used them one time, again, using one thing, one something one time and then putting it away. So that is another thing that we will save because now that we're on the road and an RV, RVing, we're gonna buy things that we need, not what we want or something that we're only gonna use one time. So hopefully this mic is working for you guys. Um, but yes, we're gonna go ahead and put this off to the other side because that is what we are selling right now. So cones we need to save. And put them in oh, the trailer yep, first. put them in they the They need to be washed off. Yep, these right here are good when you gotta pull over or anything like that. We need cones. So we're gonna put that over in our keepsake right now. So yeah, we got a pile of what we're selling what we're using right now and a pile for junk and that's junk what okay good three we need three because everything happens in threes right that's what they say right and then we have and then we have like 40 or uh 20 regular size ones um that we use for our parking for the haunted house mostly everything in this trail or in this storage and they have smaller ones that we can tables right here yeah just put them so what we got is selling pile on that side or no selling pile on this side giving away on the far side okay and then do you want to sell them? So what we're keeping and taking to storage is the trailer. So that's what I need to know. What do you think? What do you want to keep in storage? Something that's worth value. Okay. So parking stuff. I think we should put it in a pile to sell. Um, buy cones? Yeah, they buy cones. They buy everything. Just so much stuff. What are, what is that? Is that a chair? Yeah. So sell it. No. Yeah, because we got two that's out front. Right. So this is no, that's a garbage one. So Don't sell we it. Have... We have to get another one for Tyler. We have two on the wish list that we're wishing for. All right, so, so put it in the selling pile. <laughs> so, all right, so selling pile is to the far right. Keeping pile is right here against the thing. The yeah, you have to keep the ladder, but we just need a bigger ladder. Huh? No. Throw that out. Or yeah, give it away. And this is one of these big old tarps. When we first got the the pop up, they gave us this big tarp. I don't know what we can use it for, but we'll save it. Yep. And then bought this for one thing, and it still has the thing on it crazy then what did we use this for but whatever I don't know we're gonna sell it huh yeah but you won't fit that so well Nick you won't oh here's a rug that we have for the other trailer 
Yep. So here's piles of shade. Really falling down. But I'm a little upset because these are actually bolted up, man. Oh yeah, you gotta cut it. Yeah, I don't have anything to cut it with. Oh, come on. You got no, I don't. Oh, here's a your here's your tree from work. So oh, that would be, be for, the, for the trailer. Yep, small. Yes. Yep, for the Perfect. for the trailer. Yeah. Yep. Stakes that we use for the haunted house. Stakes. You know, to make a whole bunch of stuff. Stakes. A bad mama jumma. <laughs> this guy, he is he is the creepiest dude I know right here. He was one of the stars of our shows back in the day, you know, because this is how you know our society wants it to be, you know what I mean? But we ain't rolling like that. We are gonna just knock them out and everything will be okay okay all right buddy hopefully i didn't damage you come on buddy all right he's back he's back all right little little twisted jaw okay all right let's put you in the sale spot hey guys what's going on here we go this guy is our junior mascot you know he was hanging you know he's one of those guys that if you let go he falls but he is a mannequin that we picked up and we decorated him and stuff like that it's definitely very spooky when we put him put him in a corner you know so it's definitely making sure the mic's on so you guys can hear me but he was a star as well in his own mind um he was off in a corner hustler hustle all day he says but yeah let's go put him in the sales spot but yeah these guys have been with us seven years five years full time with Wyckoff's haunted house um the real the two reasons why we did not do the last two seasons is due to the fact of location location you got to get a location to be able to do that and we had location for five years and then you know that thing happened and that was our last year. But we, I think we did even a better turnout when, when the big, you know, a lot of people called, hey, are you, are you open? Yeah, darn right we're open. You know, we even made it on the news. You know, Wankoff's Haunted House was on, I think, what was it, ABC? ABC, or Channel 8, ABC, I think, Action News here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, so we were on there. Um, I think the reason, the only reason why we were on there is because most of the haunted houses that year did not, did not come on or didn't open. Well, we did, you know, we felt that if you're, if you're protected, we're protected. So we should be able to be open. So we opened that year and we, that was one of our, one of the best years ever, but the reason why we have to let everything go is like, you know, when you go small, you got to let everything go. Um, but if they don't go, they will be put in storage for future years to come. So let me go ahead and see what else we got back here. I know we got a, a object here. It's an animatronic. Okay. And what it is, is we put this in a bag of sand, put it at the bottom. You put it right behind a wall. 
And when someone comes around that wall, this thing right here will jump right at you, right in the middle of that turn. One thing we've always focused on, well, I'm not going to tell you because that's our secret, but if we ever do open up White House Hunter House ever again, um, I'll tell you, you will be scared. We were ranked pretty high. We even had glow sticks. So basically, if you wore a glow stick, you put it around your neck, our actors and our monsters are able to grab you and put you in a holding cell for the next group and you will be the victim for that next group. So that was one of our big things. Um, but during that, that, that year of craziness, we basically took that off the market. So we, that's how we were able to, you know, do our, do our magic, but we still nailed it. We still kicked it. I was selling diapers at the front gate. Um, the diapers are for, you know, the pull-ups. So if you had an accident or anything like that, because we had many accidents, grown-ups, kids, all the above, they were leaving the haunted house with their pants wet. So I'll tell you, it's a, it, was, it was a fun, fun couple years. Um, but hopefully, eventually, we will be doing that because with RV Living, our game plan is to travel the United States see it, save money, and be able to get land, build, and have a big enough land where we can put a warehouse on to start our haunted house season again. So, yep. For a couple years, um, he is about seven foot. So we're going to have to try to get him through this door without uh, breaking anything. So this right here, is Pennywise. He is a electrical or an animatronic. And this guy right here will basically jump on you when you come around the corner. He normally has a balloon right here. We always blow the balloons up and put it on there. But we don't store it with a balloon because the balloon will die, you know. Just like his spirit. But anyhow, so this guy is pretty cool. He shrinks about maybe... To right about here and then he pops up another three four foot and he jumps out at you so that's pretty cool we're getting rid of him he's crazy oh man nick's over here decorating that's one thing that nick loves to do she loves to decorate that was one thing that she liked doing so i'm gonna go over here and show you guys what she got going on and how Look at that, they are hanging out. For real. This one right here is biting her own hand. She is a nut. But that one there, she wiggles and stuff and makes ugly noises. This one's waving, I, I, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to the show. Trigger, trigger treat bag. And then we got, you know, our fake trees. More to come guys, more to come. We are just setting that up so we can take pictures. Let's see if we have made a dent here. Nope, no dent, dear. Uh, we're still working on it. This area is a little cleared up, but we are slowly but surely making a dent. Hey guys, you need a hand? We got a hand for body, body parts, more bats. There's that guy creeping out, but more and more, and this is an alien right here that pops out he pops out and then there's a ski tube a lot of pool stuff pool filter pool pumps you know the whole nine yards fridge that i gotta get rid of but and a filter but hey guys we are getting there slowly but surely i do not see this all fitting in the storage we're gonna figure it out i mean that's what we have to do you know what i mean we have to do it simple as that um that is why we are putting some stuff to sell, some stuff to keep, some stuff to throw away or give or donate. So that is what we are doing. Enjoying it. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. We're still looking for that name, guys. We're still looking for that name. Glory, the new trailer. 
So guys, come on through, come on, come on now. Get those, get those names now. Yeah. All right, guys, more to the video. Here it comes. And there we go. We got more and more and more. Yeah. Woo -woo. A pool vac that I got from a customer. And uh, this is a pool vacuum. New uh, motor to yeah, it. Here, here's your favorite little floater device little floater device <laughs> you got you're keeping the pink chair yeah that's a 250 dollar float all right got a year and a half ago um nick what do you want to do with this um uh, save it right yeah. oh yep so that and look at this bad boy this is a battery operated fan most likely doesn't blow too much air but so these are two more that we got man i'll tell you there's years of years of stuff that we do not need who's calling As, uh, my father was calling just double checking on our progress because that's the trailer that we are borrowing uh you know to get everything to the storage we're slowly getting there guys a lot of sold items that we got to put on the marketplace and Craigslist and all that. We got two more weeks to bust this out. Um, man, it's getting closer and closer to crunch time. But I'll tell you, hey, we got to do it. We got to minimize, minimize our life to that. So, you know, let's roll Dave. with it. Anybody order popcorn? Anybody order popcorn? Did anybody order popcorn? Anybody order popcorn? I got some popcorn. Anybody want some popcorn? We need to just throw this way. Because this is old and decrepit. Or, I mean, somebody could use it. Give it away. You know? Why not? This right here. Is a is a uh, pull motor for a pump that if anybody has a problem with a swimming pump, this is a one horse power. So yeah, we got that too, Nick. No pile right there, it's getting bigger and bigger. We got the giveaway part right there, and then we got our Halloween for sale and our sale and look at that umbrella right there what is that uh fog machines. fog machines more fog machines check these fog machines out guys i got so many fog machines it's not even funny these right here are a hundred dollars a piece i'll let them go right now for 50. got those these are 28 i'll let them go for the 15. got these right here oh my gosh i, I knew i had a lot but jesus cramming I got <laughs> And this right here, Wyckoff's Haunted House right here was the shirts that we made for Wyckoff's Haunted House right here. And then we used to go to, when we first started, go to Walmart and get these $5 shirts and put Wyckoff's Haunted House on them and sell them for eight. Um, and these were the, we had like 30 of them and actually sold out, only had three left. So I'm thinking of just at least keeping one of each and then giving the rest away. So, you know, memorabilia, you know? So put that in. Oh yeah, throw that Here's away. our storage so far right now. Um, we got that going to storage. Dark in there, you walk through there. It was pitch black. Mike Off's Haunted House, it was pitch black. People were scared, man. I think I got a video. I, I'm going to post a video on uh, on the channel and let you guys see. And you know what? I'm not going to post it on the channel. I'm going to post it at wyckoffsamerica.com um, because YouTube will not allow us to put it on there because it has music. We need that. So where's the extension cords that you just had? Um, I can't oh, you can't lift it? No. Okay, so we'll just put that. Oh, the butt. Man. Holy smokes. I'll tell you guys, look at this. 
this right here extension cord after extension cord i think there's like a hundred extension cords in here but hey that's what happens when you gotta put a haunted house together you got an extension cord extension cords holy another fog machine no, oh i was like oh, oh a hose for a fog machine oh i forgot we had these man look at that got ourselves a nice little chair Nice little chair there. I'll tell you what, though, it's an awesome chair to do an interview on. Yeah, it is. But look at all the spider webs. There's no spider webs. What are you talking about? Oh, at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So we'll go ahead and put those here. Take a picture of it. Go ahead. All right, I'll take a picture. Are you gonna do that all the time? Oh, yeah. We'll take a picture of it. I'll tell you, we had like 40 of these. We got 40 of these bags in there. And these were the glow sticks that you would pick up and walk around with that glow sticks. Yes, I I, I caught some cheaters. Make sure we're live. Yep. Make sure. And I caught some cheaters because I had cameras through, you know, the haunted house. And what they'll do is, yeah, I'll take a glow stick. But when we scared the crap out of them, you know what they did with that glow stick? They threw it in the air or they put the glow stick in their pocket and walked out the rest of the day or the rest of the night. I was like, man, when I saw that on the camera, I would, you know, cut because I had at least four or five different ways of getting to different rooms. I would go in there. You better put that glow stick on or hold it. But yeah. So you want to save this? Yeah. All right. We're never going to use it again. I think we're safe selling it. Because we're, we're trying to get rid of things. Lights and different kinds of... Here, get these away on your channel. On the lives? What are they? It's a multi-use, walking, running, cycle out. Oh, perfect. Yep, these are uh, running lights. You smack them on your wrist, your arms, things like that. We got green pink and blue so we'll give these out on our lives so that'll be pretty cool uh to do what contract oh let me see the contract oh no that's all so yeah this is a pretty cool thing you know what i should take this right here because then i can use this for the gopro you know because this right here used to hang in a dark alley and you turn it on whole bunch of different lights so that's a pretty cool object surprise it's still working so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off and put this in our uh bag for bag for uh the youtube channel so we'll have this because what i can do is put it and then hang the whatever you know the camera on it so i'm gonna go ahead and put that over here have that there i mean we're just getting knickknacks here and there, dog. Give a dog a bone trailer. So we got our other one. See, and that's another thing. You always had to have fire extinguishers for the haunted house that we had. And we had, we went out and bought, what, three of them? Three um, fire extinguishers. And this right here, make sure green light's on, good. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take this one and put it in the trailer. I think the date on it is, what's, how long can you have this for? Uh, must be removed from service 12 years after date. So it's good. We got it in 2020. So we are good on that. Because they're home. Oh, Nick. Aw, I thought they liked Mountain Dew. They do, but they like yours too, I guess. Yep. You know, there's this one time. At band camp? <laughs> throw this, or put this no, in. put that in the, the box. Uh, to keep or haunted house? Um, haunted house for now. Well, there's people working. But uh, last time I drank a Mountain Dew, there was a wasp in there. You remember? I think I was live, and I was about to drink it, and I heard it buzzing. And I'm like, there's one in there. I'm not drinking it. And right for like right before I took that sip, 
Man, that thing came right out. I said, you mojo, you almost got me. I would have had a swolled up lip for a long time. I would have been a Hollywood star because I would have had the, you know, the, you know, Botox lips and stuff. Make sure you got to get it for your homies. We're good. We're good. All right. Yep. We don't need the box, so. So this right here, we got this. This is a uh, flashing skull mug. So what we're gonna do is take it out of the box and we're gonna go ahead and give this out on one of our lives. And also two more, green and blue. We'll be giving those out as well on one of our lives coming up next. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because we're giving out things we will mail we will mail things like this because they're doable, but we can't mail anything that's huge, you know. Um, but this is our journey. This is our journey of getting things and, and going through our stuff, downsizing to turn it around to go RV living full time. Wyckoff's Adventures right here. Let's like, go. Nick, where have you been? Because I already showed them that. That's what I took. It had one of those things that wraps so I can hit, I can put the phone on it and then hang it. Okay. A counter. Oh, man, Nick. What is going on? Oh, man, Nick. Look at these things. Oh, yeah. Get this way, too. Oh, um, here you can show people what that is with this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Don't is work. So this is what it looks like. No, it works. It works. See? It turns, you know, and it flashes. And then what you do is you put it on your arm and you strap it. And then, you know what I mean? Whatever. So, now check this out, guys. You guys are going to love this. Man, let me tell you what. Hopefully they working right now. Nope, they ain't working. Man, but I'll tell you what, guys, look at this right here. Man, I can control it. Well, it looks like it was working because it's blinking, so it only would work during the nighttime. But I'll tell you, I'll give these things away also on the live. So they are, it is on. You just can't see it. Man, that right there is cool. Let me tell you what. Let me turn it off though. There we go, now it's off. So we don't wanna run the batteries out. Surprised it lasted that long. But yeah, throw those bingos out. We don't need them, we use those for the hand mark and let them know that they paid. But yeah, we got this, we're gonna give that out too. Here. Why not? It's another box of extension cords. So. Guys, I am the extension cord king right here. Anyways, so I'm going to put that in storage because you never know. You might run out of extension the cords. The new uh, generation won't know what this is. This is a uh, CD player they, that, and a DVD player. Huh? All the information. Throw that all away. Shred it. Yep, shred it. We don't need that information. But I definitely got to keep these. I love these things. These things right here are so, they've been with me since day one. And these are the boom booms, okay? If I ever want to get in the DJ lifestyle, I'm going to be GJing. Woohoo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Put that in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and put that into the storage. There's Coast Guard, there's Coast Guard. Check Coast Guard out. Man, those trees look spooky, don't they? Anyways, we are uh, getting it done slowly but surely. I'm gonna try to work in here. Bring it, guy, bring it in here. Slowly, got this whole side done. And still got the whole back and all the rest of this over here. So I'm going to put you guys in this corner. I'm going to put 
you guys in the corner guys on in here so you guys can see throw this out this was all stuff you know because i was going to start a uh, pool store um with my pool business and these are just uh flimsies that you put up in a store and things like that but you know the economy just kept getting worse and worse so Wyckoff could not do a uh, pool store you know what I mean we just couldn't do it Nick wants to keep this there's a dollhouse we can throw that out Nick wants to keep this this is like a, a gold mine to her but she doesn't understand that this weighs about 20 pounds. So we're just going to have to put it in storage and hope for the best. Oh, man, I even forgot. All right. If you guys remember, this here is when you got gas. <laughs> you got gas. Clean it up. All right. So this was my year's. Of college. Yes, I am keeping that, and it's going in storage. Yes. Huh? The yeah, it's going in. Float. It's going into storage. Okay. That's a badass float. Yeah, it is. All right. So this right here, many years of ball. Got my old. Hope there ain't no bugs, but there might be. But you know, kaka. You know, my younger years. And then let me see what else is in here. Man, I should have. Yep, back in the day. Man, they even still got dirt on them. The years that I played ball, I have still the clay on it, man. The good old days. And then let me show you my amazing mitt. That I had to get. And you know what? If you know things about baseball, you always keep a ball in your mitt at all times when you store it. So, what you do is when you have that ball in there, it allows the web to a form. And stay to that form. This is a Mizuno, one of the two. Go ahead. The, the Mizuno, the Mizuno, I forgot it's been many years. 5.3S, 3.5.3S. I used to like the, the Mizunos, the 21s, you know what I mean? The, the, the 2100 Mizunos, but nope. And if you guys can tell, official Major League Baseball baby. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, it's been years since I picked this up and throw Nick. Man, that'd be nice to have someone get another glove on and go play some catch. Because I'll tell you, okay? all right, I need someone that he at least has a college um, experience because... I throw about 90 miles an hour, all right? But when I warm up, I'm at like 65. So I like to go out and throw some balls around, you know? That will be fun. So maybe I should keep this. Definitely I'm going to put it in storage because this is my college years and, you know, my semi-pro semi years of the days of ball. But, yes. I would definitely love to go, you know, teach the younger years how to play, stuff like that. But I'm so darn busy, it's not even funny. But I could start doing that, maybe start another channel of teaching kids how to play ball. So, hey, future, right? Never know. I'll be buck. This right here. No, that's the eagle. I think it's the other. This one right here. It says 27. 27. Is my lucky number. I've been 27 all through high school, all through college, and semi-pro. 
So I love it. I love to play ball. So I kept the 27 through my whole life. Dude, it's been 10, 20 years, I would say. But I'll tell you, it's, oh, it's like a kid in a candy store. You know what I mean? But anyways, let's get back to reality. Oh, yeah. Oh, nope. Couldn't get that one. But I can get this one, though. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. But you know what? I can just go, ka, -ka right? And knock somebody. Oh, my God. Did I just hit somebody in the head with this? Nick. <laughs> that was a bloody bat. Uh-oh. You guys don't know what's going to happen. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's out of batteries. It worked. And this thing cost $50, man. And I'll tell you, come on, work, baby. <laughs> Nick, come get the chainsaw. I'm going to cut your hand off. All right, here you go. So, yeah, that's that's a who? A hammock. That's it. What? Yeah, this is the hammock that goes shoved in here. Yeah, yeah. you gonna... But we have another hammock inside, so we can use two of them. All right, all right. So we can go ahead and throw this out now. This is a dollhouse that we put together. It was pretty. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Check this out, guys. We got ourselves a paddle. I don't know what boat we can put this on. But we can row our ass out of here. <laughs> That's this one. Oh, oh. Okay. This is a real row your boat just down the stream. Yeah, but you remember we needed the short one? Yeah. So we got those. Oh, here's the other one that we got to put away, you know. So you sit your butt and this like this. And you just float, you know what I mean? But me being so big, I sink. Okay, so it just doesn't work for me, but Nick likes it, and sometimes I'm just, you know, I, I sit like this, and, you know, like a doggy, doggy paddle, you know, so that's what I normally do, but we got bags, this is uh, Star Wars and junk, throw that out, Nick, we don't need that, and then we might need this. But we can sell it. These are flippers. Here, Nick. Flippers. Yeah, sell them. Yep. Five bucks a piece. Flipper here. Flipper there. Here. Flipper. Oh, we got this. But I think it's ripped now. <laughs> Woo! All right, more bags. I don't even know what is in this thing. Oh my gosh, is there money in here? Nope. Nick, these are just floating devices and a pump. So we'll just put this on the... Nick, put this on the trailer. That's just a fun bag. Yeah, like in this area right here, when we had our pop-up camper... This is where we put that over here is the pop-up camper section. And uh, it's just crazy. And this used to be creepy as all oh, get. You'll do a little... Wait, this is a new blade for the um, weed eater. Yeah, that's for... I don't no, have a weed whacker we, anymore. We have it. Uh, that don't work with electric. So throw that away. Throw that away. That, that works for a real weed whacker, not electric. Not a green weed whacker. We need a gas powered. You know, it works with gas powered, not green powered. Um, I mean, T-O-T. -T. Beautiful. 
beautiful racing helmet here. Never been used. Beautiful racing helmet. This right here, I paid about uh, 375 bucks or something like that. Uh, it says racing on the side. So what I did was I bought it for myself because I bought up um, eight years ago. I bought a stand up jet ski. I used to be I, like back in the day. I used to get on the stand up jet skis and go over to Indian River, um, Indian River County, uh, uh, Sebastian Inlet and the waves out there. We would ramp the waves and you need a helmet when you ramp waves. So I bought that helmet. I had my stand up that is for sale because I do not have a motorcycle or I don't have a stand up jet ski anymore. So, you know, what, what's the use for it? And if I don't sell it, then I'll put it back in stores like I did here because eventually Tyler or my son will get a dirt bike or a stand up jet ski or whatever. Or I will, or you know. Well, it would be nice if I can get this back in there. There we go. Yep, there we go. All right. So this is something that Nick likes, but we're going to throw that out because we don't need that anymore. Just more junk. But anyways, guys, you know, I'm not here to do a story tell and go through everything that I have here. I just wanted to, you know, give you some ideas of what we're doing, what we're in the middle of doing. But I'll tell you, we got so much more stuff to go through. So more. Oh, man. And uh, don't forget, our storage closes tonight at 10 p.m. So we have to have at least two trips out of today before it closes and get things popping we're almost done out of here so that's a good thing but guys we're gonna keep keep on doing it keep on knocking it out and showing you what's popping yeah oh man do i hear the ice cream truck oh man here we go yeah the ice cream truck here it comes yeah Time to get some ice cream. Yeah! Oh, Nick's already down there. Nick's already there. We already getting ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Yeah. What they got, Nick? Oh, man, they got some good stuff. Man. An Oreo or anything Oreo? Yeah, the Oreo yeah, bar. Oreo bar. Yep, Oreo that's what I'm taking. Sandwich. Yep, Oreo bar. Okay. Perfect. And a uh, chocolate eclair. Yep, perfect. Yeah, what do you think, Nick? Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Four dollars. Four dollars each. You can't beat that. No. Yum, yum. Four yeah. Dollars for two, you oh, four for two. <laughs> Woo! I even have a dollar. Heck yeah. Man, that's dollar, awesome. Dollar, oh, dollar, dollar. heck yeah. That's for the kids. Yeah, nice. Good, at least that was still Did you just start coming through or? Yeah, I just... mean, I, I run around here, but I've been skipping a little while before. Coming <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank Have a good one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ice cream. Gotta get that ice cream, guys. It's that break time. Break time. Oh, it's a. Oreo bar. Man, we gotta get some ice cream right there. Luckily, that boy just showed up. Man, gotta get that break, can you? Hot day. Oh, man. Good day for ice cream. For real. Florida, what is the weather? About 75? Uh -uh. 80, maybe? Mm -hmm. Man, let me tell you what. It's a lifesaver. Got one of them Oreo bars. What'd you get? Chocolate Eclair. Oh, chocolate Eclair. Mm hmm. Chocolate eclair. Can't beat that. Take a break. Now back to work. Here we go. What's up, guys? What is up? We are 
hitting the crunch time, but I found me a hat that I made in 2017. Um, I want to bring it a little bit closer. I made it clean and sober. Um, basically, I made this hat and I was like, you know what? Just to remind me, it's been 11 plus years. I'm going to say about 12 years now. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this, you know, because, you know, it's something to remember, you know, always. Because I'm telling you, if you are in that journey and you want to get out, get out. I know it's hard to take that step, but you can do it. Put your mind to it and you can do it. I promise. I promise. I know it's going to be hard, but you can do it. Because I did it. I never thought I would be able to do it, but I did it. And now, 12 years exact. And I'm telling you, it's well worth it. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys. Also, want to let you guys know that, man, we just hit ice cream, man. That was a perfect timing. We are now more piles up. We are now about to head over to the storage unit and uh, take... This stuff that we have on the trailer, take it over there, drop it off, come back and put the Halloween stuff on it. We can do it until 10 p.m. So hopefully we can get, I know it's about 5 o'clock or so, so we got five hours to do this trip, unload it, put this on, unload it, and then tomorrow we got another day of crunch time. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Enjoy, because I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make you laugh and have a good time. So keep on watching, because the show ain't over. Woohoo! All right, guys, we got our stuff here, and we got our load here, and we're going to go ahead and get it going to the storage. Let's go ahead in here and see how it looks. It is definitely cleaner by the moment. What's going on, Nick? What are you looking at? Pictures. All memories and pictures and stuff. So we need to put that yeah, on the trailer and take that to storage right now. And then we also have this right here from behind this wood and over. And that's the rest of the Halloween stuff. Who's that? My mom. Oh, Mama Dukes. It's messed up, but... Uh, that's awesome. But yeah, we have that rest of the Halloween stuff. We're going to add that on the next trip. Bring you guys along with us. So let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's take a ride because you know we only can drive 20 miles an hour. Well, now that it's like that with nothing over it, we might have to only go five miles an hour and keep our eyes open behind us because we don't want nothing falling off. So... It's going to be a rough ride. <laughs> All right, off to the storage. All right, guys. 20 mile an hour, here we go. Okay, maybe five miles an hour. We got to make it out of here safe and sound. Nick, you pay attention, right? Yeah, but I can only see my side. I can't see it. Uh, so you need to look out the side. Got it. There's a the little beast right there. All right. We got to make sure that we got our lights on. Nope. Nope, we ain't got our lights on. We forgot to turn our lights on. Come on. Put it in there like that. There we go. There they are. 
but they don't blink so it is what it is all right we are all fin popping let's go there huh? all right guys we are back on the road we're doing about three miles an hour I believe this is what we're gonna do I did not strap it down because we have to it's actually six now so we have to have enough time to unload this trailer and then get back with another load was that us Okay, I was about to say, did we drop something? We haven't even left the the corner street. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll see you. We're going to speed it up for you. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna Alright guys, we have made it at sundown to the storage unit So, man, I'll tell you what a long day it has been so now we're gonna unload this into the storage unit and then we're gonna go back to the crib, load it up one more time, take that to the storage unit before 10. We gotta get in here before 10, that's what we have to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, all right, see you at the yeah, storage you're unit. You're good. We have made it, we have made it to the storage unit. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff that we got here on or in the storage. <laughs> that lock. And I got my keys this time. That's what I'm talking about. We ain't forgetting it no more because I put them on the key rings or the car keys so I don't have to lose it. The car keys, the trailer, all that is on this key ring so <laughs> yeah all right guys so we definitely uh got the keys finally on here and uh let's go ahead and wow that thing came right out go ahead and put the lock here keys there turn on the light Oh, you didn't want to keep that? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were going to send this to Ryan Up Church. Ryan, yeah. Ryan Up Church is coming to you, buddy. Ryan Up Church. So, yeah, we're going to send that to you somehow, some way, some way. That's Ryan Up Church is the next Elvis in my eye. The king of rock and roll. Amen. All right, let's get her in. Yep. Huh? What I do, dear? What do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? Right, and put that small stuff in there. Correct, Nick. I mean, that's what my game plan is to do, you know, but yes, we are, but we're going to, what I'm thinking is, is, uh, putting this stuff 
over here, what we just have right now, put that straight in the back. And we're going to be retouching everything again. Huh? We're going to be retouching everything. Because the Halloween is going to be out here, so then... Okay, but what I'm saying is, there's stuff like I would like to have it organized because... We're living out of a shed is what we're going to do. So All if right. you ever want anything, so, you're going to have to know where what is. All right, so this is the PlayStation, my work stuff. So that needs to be up front in my office and my work stuff right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. What's that? Right, what? Every, everything that was in my, on my table. Oh. And then this is my important box. So I'll put that there. So then I'm going to go ahead... These are uh, batteries. These are pipes. Um, I don't need these up front. Or maybe I do. So what I'll do is... Bring... Huh? Okay. Whoopsie. Did you bring the remote for this uh, sound bar? Oh, man. It's sitting on the... Tape up top. So we're gonna put this right here by the door. So that's it. Put this right there by the door. Boom. Think that would work? Yeah, don't touch it. Well, I didn't know. I thought it was uh, like uh, oatmeal. Paper shredder. Right there, just in case, you know. Um, I would say, yeah, this is the pipes. Right, and then I don't know what you want to do with these. This is your working stuff, right? Because that's pipes. Yeah, yeah. What's in that? That's what do you think it is? Back? Yeah, what is that, Nick? Hence? I don't know. Wow. Are you that? Wake up, please. It's rope. No. I don't know what the fuck it is. Wow. Why don't you just tell me? The magnet fishing. Uh-oh. Jeez, like, the, you know. No, I don't know. How do you not know, Nick? I don't. Here's PlayStation. Put that there. This right, can... Uh, hiking yeah. and, and like that stuff. Right. Okay, up front. Yeah. Can't hang that. Oh, yeah, we can't run right up there. Yeah, but I don't think it will. Oh, yeah. Look at Look at it. Perfect. Perfect. But, you know what I mean? Well, then we'll move it. To yeah. wherever we're not going that high. Yep. I think over here. Cause... So you don't want the door to hit it. Yep. Alright. That sounds good. Alright. Well... Oh, well. These people are blocked off from us. But these people are not. Nope. Huh. Interesting. Very. Okay. You don't have this box marked. How do we know what it is? You need a, you have a marker? You need a marker. Oh, this was the, the box that I just put together. Oh, Jesus. It's nothing special. Oh, here's a sound bar. Here's this. It's the, um... Air gun, or, uh, yep, that. Gun. And then, um, uh, oh, the stuff that was in the cabinet or the hallway oh okay yeah so it was just that so stuff. you should have kept this out for uh, moving it's a moving blanket oh yeah to protect stuff. and then this okay. is so christmas this is, stuff okay there's christmas where right behind you all right this is living room and then the sound bar and all that kind of go Picture. Oh, and that's the stuff I told you that I wanted to um, decorate the RV because I want to have some freaking decorations in there, man. I thought we saved some. 
Oh. Oh, with that. Hey, we'll get to it. This is the Roomba and the air horn. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because I definitely want to get the PlayStation yeah, eventually. Yeah, so the living room and the PlayStation. We're going to try not to pack too much on top of this stuff right Right, now. right. Christmas stuff. All right, like this keepsake is the one for um, being stuff being on top of it, I guess. All right, so here's the tables. I want to bring back that for the yard sale. All right, that's fine. It's a lizard. It's not going to hurt us. Because what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do yard sales, whatever we want to sell, put it out on the thing. Bam. Holes. Yeah, you do horrible organizing. Yeah. The squirt squirt. We're getting it slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely. It's getting done. All right, guys. We are loaded up here. We have uh, finally got it done. For the first, or actually, should yeah, I say? Second load. Oh, man. What do you think, Nick? Do you think this 15 by whatever, 10 by 15, will put this, our stuff in? Huh? I hope. Huh? I hope. You hope, Nick? Yeah, I hope. I hope, too. I mean, what we can only do is just say, hey, if it don't fit, we throw it away. Or sell it. Oh, I gotta love her smirks. All right, guys. We got our next load of Halloween stuff going. We cleared that side mostly and put it all on the trailer and then here i'm going to show you this is going to be so tight here's the mannequins we'll get that on tomorrow's load and then this stuff here was all back here and then we have 10 to 12 boxes left so on it slowly but surely but we're gonna head we're heading down to the storage unit right now 9 15 and you know we take about 20 minute drive 20 minute mile an hour so we're gonna try to beat it before 10 p.m they can't tell us to get out you know what i mean if we can get in before 10 we are good so we're gonna take this load and then tomorrow we'll take these loads but I think if we, because we're trying to do garage sales. So we're trying to keep stuff that we know that will sell at a garage sale here before we take it to the shop or take it to the, to the storage. So we're going to try to do it. But I don't want to, like, how do I say it? I don't want to be rushed and, and be stuck with this stuff here. And we didn't sell it or anything like that. And then we have to make at least two or three more loads to the storage. Like two, three days before we have to be moved out. Alright guys. We have uh, emptied this one. Second, or actually third trip. We got the Halloween stuff back there. We're going to try to get it right in this area. Cut it off. Put it in. And then, man, I'll tell you. So what do you think, Nick? Think we can fit it in? I think it'll be tight. It's going to be tight. Tight, 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 tight. Then we found out that this thing is not a tent. It's just the poles for a tent. doesn't have the canopy, so we're throwing that out. And then we found these bad boys. I totally forgot I had these. 
These are mannequins. This is a man's torso. Man, I totally forgot. And then this is the woman's torso here. Can't even see it. But the woman's torso. Can't even see it, darn it. Oh, boobies. Oh, no. PG. PG, put those up. Leave them boobies alone. Leave them boobies alone. Aha. Anyhow, this is it. Third trip. I think we got, what, five more trips left? Probably ten. Ten more trips left. Holy smokes. So we got two boxes left for tonight's final hoorah. hoorah. And it, hoorah, all blinking day long. We have conquered two trips and mostly got everything out of the storage that we needed out, but you guys seen it all. We got 12 more boxes left for the Halloween and then all of the electronics to be put in here. We're going to try to, you know, make a square, put that in there. Well, put a square in there. Yeah, so we got that. We got that. Bam. And then, bam, bam. And then we're almost out of here. So, two more boxes. We got the guy torso and the female torso. Sorry about that. It is a PJ-13. And I put the, you know, those on there. So, just, you know, I might blare it out or something. You know, we don't want to get censored or anything like that. I don't have nips. Oh, no nips. So, <laughs> we should be okay. You know, like nip. Oops, I got mine. They're hard. Whoops. Uh, that's more perverted than this. What is? I just saw a UFO. No, I'm just kidding. You, you see it? There's a little white light. Anyhow. U-O-F. Yeah, U-F-O. Yeah, full of shit. U-F-O-S. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Man, is he coming up with some crazy stuff. Anyways, it's been a long day. And I want to say thank you guys for watching. Because what I'm doing is... I'm just... You're trying to get out of working. Come on. That's what it is. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. White House Adventure. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> but guys, again, thank you so much for watching here with White House Adventures. We're going to end this video right here, right now. Um, we just have so much more stuff to do. And when I'm editing or putting videos together, it takes time away of what we have to do. And we only have 22 days left. Yesterday was 23. Now it's 22. So guys, much love to all you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and comment at the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe and go over to whitecostamerica.com and check out our website and our other channel. And hey, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time on White Cost Adventures right here on YouTube. So, we say Nick. Hey. Later y'all. Peace.